Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the City Skylines Beginner's Guide. Today we will be talking about the Financial Districts DLC and everything that you can do with it as well as a few little hacks along the way to make it a little bit easier. This DLC is definitely turning out to be a little controversial. I originally thought that it would be a fantastic option for console players but after releasing my initial video, I had gotten quite a bit of feedback from console players saying that it wasn't really worth it. So one of the big reasons that I think that it is worth it, and I had mentioned it in that episode, is the inclusion of the new districts. So having the financial office buildings in my opinion, is a really big win for console players just because getting those buildings a lot of times can be really difficult. But let's go ahead and jump in. You guys can come up with your own opinion of it. So looking at our city, which has gotten pretty big, we don't really have a whole lot of room over here in our downtown for the financial district, but this would be in real life where it would develop as a lot of times the big banking industries and stuff like that do end up culminating in these downtown areas. And so what we're going to have to do is delete a couple buildings and make some space for the stock exchange as well as a few of the other buildings. So what I'm thinking is if we go down to the bulldoze tool, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. And then we're going to get rid of a couple of these as well. And it does kind of suck. We're, we're definitely going to lose out on a little bit of those buildings. But I think that in the end, this is going to be worth it. And so... We are also going to get rid of these and we'll go ahead and keep those for now. So the first thing, whenever you get the Financial Districts DLC, you have unlocked quite a few new things. So if you go down to our old police department sector, now it has police department and banks. So these are your regional banks that send out little cash trucks and they service commercial buildings in your areas and actually help you to make a little bit more money and it reduces crime in those areas as well. But then along with that, if you go over to the unique buildings, you now have a, a new tab, the financial buildings. And this is where you'll find your stock exchange as well as a lot of the other buildings that you do unlock as you level up the stock exchange. So I do want to put the stock exchange like right off this middle section, but I want to do something to make it look a little bit better rather than just putting it straight off that road. So I think what I'm going to do is grab a road, go to the free form tool, and I'm literally just going to go out here and try to curve it back like that. And the reason I'm going to do that is just because it's going to help create a little bit of a separation in this space. Now you can kind of see how in vanilla you really don't have an option to put it flat. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get rid of this. And we will redraw this in. And I kind of messed up. I could have deleted it in the middle. So if we, I redraw that and delete this middle piece, what I can do is just go to a straight piece and just go straight across. And what this is going to allow me to do is place that building level with the road. And we are still a little bit off. You can kind of see we're going to have to be closer to one side than the other, which does kind of suck. But if I had move it mod, I'd be able to just ship that over and I totally would. But because we don't, we really don't have that capability. And so we're just going to have to roll with it. It doesn't look, it's not the end of the world. It's definitely a little bit shorter on this side than that side. So now let's go ahead and create a road back here. Since we kind of got rid of a little bit of our, our grid pattern in here, we would still want to keep that connectivity. It is kind of messed up because we have this through road, but they still have access, which is important. So I do want to get rid of these two commercial zones as well. We're going to come up here. Let's go ahead and right click on those, get rid of those. And the more I'm looking at these, the more I'm thinking that we'll end up getting rid of those. But let's go ahead and keep them for now. I think I'm going to go ahead and connect those up. And then what I do want to do is go into our districts tab. And this is another new part of the financial districts DLC. And it is the district's office specialization. So if you go in here, office specializations, you now have this financial office buildings. And these include about 75 new buildings that will spawn in, within the district that you designate. And so now that we've done that, we can come in here. Let's go ahead and click that. We can go ahead and turn on district so that you guys can see it. So it's called Walnut Hills. We'll go ahead and change this to uh, Financial Hills or we'll change it to Wall Street. So now I would guess that Wall Street would probably be this one. So let's go ahead and change the name of this street as well. So now that we have that. One of the things that I did figure out after doing my first video, it's kind of funny. I, so I thought that it was going to be more like a game, like, oh, you're sitting here, you know, just going back and forth. But then after seeing a couple comments and then going through and seeing like, all right, you know, these are locked. These are industries that we don't have. I did realize that you can do insider trading, which is great because it's a good way to make money. It does kind of kill this DLC though, because it only takes now like two seconds, whereas before it actually took a little bit of time and some thought process. So you can kind of see we have farming industry here. If I go into the budgets tab and I go all the way down to my industries, I can just put this all the way down, go back to investments. And what it's going to do is it's going to have this farming industry tank. And so once it levels off down at the bottom, we'll go like eh, right there's probably good. So we'll go ahead and buy. You can kind of see that it really wasn't that big of an investment. But now what we can do is go back to budget. Let's go ahead and ramp all this up. And then we would go back in here. Let's go ahead and wait till it goes all the way up. 
so 580 let's see if we can squeeze anything more out of that it looks like it still had a little ways to go it doesn't so we're going to go ahead and hit sell now and we're just going to go ahead and wash and repeat we're going to go back to budget we're going to dump that down we're going to go back into investments we're going to wait for our farming industry to tank we're going to go ahead and hit buy we're going to buy all of it we're going to go back to budget we're going to do this and what i'm going to do is just literally repeat this until we make about $2 million, which is all the money you need for the entire upgrades for the stock exchange. All right, so just a couple quick minutes later, you can see we have those ups and downs, up, down, up, down. So I did it four times where I just increased the budget and then um, dropped it back down, increased it, dropped it back down, increased it. And so I was able to just kind of cheat the system and reach all of our unlocks. Now I can come back in here, go ahead and hit upgrade. And so for our first upgrade, we get the bronze cow, the bronze panda, and the small bank, which is great. So we can start placing those around our city. So for our second unlock, we get the large bank and the elevated plaza. And so the large bank is very similar to the small bank. It just covers more area. So this is something that you'd put in maybe like a mid-rise area or an area that has a pretty decent amount of commercial buildings. We're gonna go ahead and hit okay. We are going to upgrade to our third unlock. So our third unlock level four, we now have unlocked the underground garden plaza, which is great. I actually really like this plaza. And then the skyscraper bank. So this is a bank that you would put in your downtowns, areas that have a lot of commercial areas to be covered. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay. And we are gonna get a, that last unlock. And so this is the international trade building which is actually a pretty cool little building. It has a lot of really nice grounds. I do like it. One of the things you'll notice is that it upgrades your building all the way to the top. So that is a really easy way for you to make money. Like you can just make tons and tons of money doing that. I am a little disappointed. I felt like it was a little more enjoyable kind of playing around with it before because I was actually like losing some money and then making some money. And whereas now uh, it literally took me two seconds to beat the DLC, basically. It's probably something that maybe they didn't think about or maybe they put it in there intentionally for people to make money easily because it is insider trading. In real life, this would be considered illegal. Never mind that. Let's go ahead and look at our new buildings. We are going to go into the police departments and banks and I want to place a few of these down, but we do need to get this skyscraper bank. So there was a little bit of confusion. Some people said that the stock exchange actually operated like a bank. And after, you know, playing around with it a little bit, you can see that all these buildings are red. Well, these are all commercial buildings that are not serviced by a bank. And so the stock exchange does not operate as a bank. And so that's something to keep in mind. You definitely still have to place a bank near it. So what I'm going to do is probably place it like right here. I feel like that's good. And we can go ahead and check out that building. So it's actually a really nice building. They did a lot of details around it. I think it looks good. I like the little flower beds. It's got these stairs. It's definitely a well detailed building. I do also, while we're down here, want to place the new international trade building. So this building is quite heavy. It's very big and you can kind of see, I don't even know if we're going to be able to fit it in here. Let's go ahead and delete this road and see if we can kind of fudge it in here a little bit. And then what we can do, let's go ahead and move this over to the edge now. We're going to go like that and let's see if we can get a little road in here because I feel like this would still be uh, very beneficial to have a road. So if we come like this and then come out like right here and then go ahead and connect that up and we get a little bit of a curve for some character. And so I really like this. This is actually my probably my favorite new building other than some of the growables that we get. I really like the grounds. It has these flower beds. Um, it has a lot of really great details. It's a taller building, so it definitely blends in with our downtown quite a bit. We do still have some other taller buildings, but I think that it is a nice match. And so now let's go ahead and place down our other banks. So you want small banks for like smaller areas that don't necessarily, like you can kind of see, there's just a few commercial buildings over here. There's just a little bit over here. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna place a small branch right there. And so we'll go ahead and place another small bank over here. I think we're gonna go ahead and place it off this road since it has really good access to this whole area. And so now you can kind of see there's just a lot of scattered commercial buildings in here. It's really not too dense. And so we're just gonna go ahead and place down some more branches in here. We'll go ahead and place one here on our main little stretch of commercial. Let's go ahead and place a second one as well. You do tend to see a lot of banks in real life. And so in our bigger areas, like this is our, you know, small little uh, midtown area. Let's go ahead and place a medium sized bank. Let's go ahead and go over here as well, where we have some taller buildings. Let's place another medium sized bank. Just because you can see that sphere of influence, it does cover quite a bit. And I do believe that this does have an effect on land value, very similar to the post office. And so let's go ahead and place this down if we go like that. And so we've pretty much covered everything that is important at this point we do have a couple little red spots but i still feel like they're going to be serviced quite well it does look like maybe we could use one down here let's go ahead and place a medium bank right there and then maybe just a couple other uh, little small branches just to cover up those spaces so now if we jump out of this view 
We have also received a new financial info panel button in here. So if you go ahead and click this, you can see the areas where you get a tax bonus from the stock exchange. So all the commercial, I believe it's just the commercial buildings and office buildings in this area, you do receive a tax bonus of. And so it says 6%, so all these buildings, which is fantastic. And you can also go over to banks, which is what we were just kind of looking at and see where your spread is for your banks, how good your coverage is. And so now that we have that, let's go ahead and start playing around some with some of our office buildings. So I do want to come in here and we're going to dezone some of these. Looks like we actually got a few of our offices already. So let's actually come in here and I want to dezone this. We're going to put a financial building right there. And I think we're going to dezone this one as well and just put a financial row right there just to give us a little more coverage. We can actually extend that out a little bit, make sure that it does get covered. And then let's go ahead and check out this row as well. I think instead of these commercial buildings, it would look really nice if we put in some more of the financial buildings, especially, I mean, it's a financial district. And so you'd want to have um, a decent amount of buildings in here. Let's go ahead and place a couple rows on this side too. And we'll place a couple smaller buildings over here. The small buildings for this DLC are really nice. There's definitely a ton that have some great details. And so we're gonna end up extending this out as well. We are going to also be placing down our museum and a science center probably up top. I remember in, in the past I had said that I wanted to do some sort of museum around this just because it's like ruins. And, and a lot of times, especially in older cities, they do tend to do stuff like that. And so I do think it's a nice touch. Let's go ahead and go like that. And then we will go ahead and zone all this in. Let's go like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and go like this just so that we can leave a little bit of space in there. And then we are probably gonna leave that backside empty. Let's do a path going in the back. So we'll grab this, have it go back. And then let's go ahead and turn off our snapping now. All right, so we wanna go into freeform and we are going to ex just have this turn and I want it to you know look good. I don't want it to look kind of cheesy. So we'll have this come up. And then what I'm thinking is we will go ahead. Let's, you know, I think we're going to reconfigure some of this. So we're going to grab our bulldoze tool. We're going to pause for a second. So this interchange has been kind of an issue for us for quite some time. And it's because this road is the primary road, but this road was treated as the primary road. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to flip it. So we're going to go into a bigger road and we want to make sure that we have trams and bikes because we are bike friendly. And so now we will go ahead and turn this. And then what we can do is go ahead and connect this up. And so what that's going to do is make it a little bit easier for people going down this road. And you can kind of see our tram tracks are a little messed up. If we zoom out, it looks like they're in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and go like this all the way down just to make sure that our, our station has the, the tram tracks on the same side. It's one of the biggest things you got to look out for with trams is whether the tracks are in the middle or on the outside. Um, I do think when they're in the middle, they, they do tend to work a little bit better, but we're going to go ahead and switch this because this is a six lane road versus a four lane road, which is what we had before. I think this road is big enough to warrant a six lane road now, especially since we have our stadium district down here. So we'll probably just go right there. I feel like that's good. Provide some really good coverage. And now we've increased accessibility by adding in those lanes. Let's go ahead and create a road in here now. So I want this road to come out probably about like right here. Let's just go across. I feel like that's good. And then let's look at, so we had unlocked the museum for our trade school by leveling our school to level five. So I really want to put our museum like right here. And then I want to put the science center. So if we go into our unique buildings and I don't remember what tab it's in, I believe it's in four or five. Yeah. So the science center. I really want to put this one like right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is now going to be like, you know, a museum area. You can kind of see the ruins and then you can come with your kids to the science center. And science centers are actually kind of cool. I've been to a few science centers. And so now let's go ahead and level out a little bit of this just to make it a little more realistic. I think having that square around the building would be a little weird. And then let's come over here. And we are going to level out a little space in here as well. We don't need to get crazy with it. I just want to make it look a little more natural rather than they just dug a hole around those buildings. And so we do need to hook up water pipes to this area real quick. All right, water pipes hooked up. And now we do need to get some electricity in here. So let's go ahead and go like this. And so the goal is for me to do a little grounds around here as well. I thought we had zoned that in. Oh, we don't have any uh, demand for offices. Ooh, that's not good. We definitely need to get more, more residential. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and do a small little residential district in here. It's still a part of the downtown. And so I think that this would warrant consideration. And so we'll go ahead and go like that. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and just go like this. And then let's go ahead and do some high density residential in here. So now that those, those are going to start coming in, what it's going to do is increase our office demand, which is really going to help out quite a bit. 
And so now that we have this, let's go ahead and check out our path. So we're going to grab this path and we are going to bring this up and let's go ahead and connect it like right here. I feel like that's pretty good. And then I do want to get a gravel path for around our ruins. I feel like that would just be a really nice touch. So we'll go like that and let's go ahead and bring this up and then let's have it go across the street. Yeah, you know, that looks pretty good. I don't particularly like that curve right there, but I think that it looks good enough for us to now decorate. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and go into our gazebos. And I want to put in a couple of these. Let's um, turn it into a park area so that we can get our park assets in here. And this does mess up your pedestrian area. So you do want to be careful if you start to place down any uh, parks around pedestrian areas. So let's go ahead and place this entrance right there. And then let's hook that up now with our gravel path. So we'll go like this. And then let's do a plaza right here in the middle. So we'll go like that. Plaza definitely fits in. We could put a little bit of trees around it to clean it up a little bit. So whenever I'm designing these, what I'm thinking is how can I make it look as real as possible? And again, one of the tricky parts is in real life, they don't design things to look good from an aerial perspective. They design things to look good from a first person perspective, you out on the ground walking around. And so we definitely try to do both of them in this game, which is the tricky part. And so what I want to do is create a pattern. So I want to come up here, go like this, go like that go like this and what that does is it creates a subtle pattern with those gazebos going around on this side we really don't have as much of a leeway to be able to do a pattern but now what we can do is grab our rest our restrooms let's go ahead and place just a couple of these we don't need we don't want to get crazy you just want to again be realistic with this so now let's go ahead and do an info booth on the back side and let's do an info booth next to our ruins over here so that maybe this is like where you go and they they talk about where, where the ruins are from, you know, like the Roman times or something like that. And so now that we have that, it looks kind of plain, but what you can do, and this is really where the magic comes in, start decorating stuff up. So I'm going to grab a bush and what I'm going to do is just go around the outside of this building and clean up this edge. And I'm just going to basically do some trees around, probably highlight the paths a little bit, just clean it up, make it look good make it look a little more realistic and natural. All right, so I ended up doing quite a bit. And again, this is just to make it look a little bit better. So I did use some props. I made a little bit of a playground. Um, I used, and it's kind of funny. All, so all these props are available in the vanilla game for under the Parks and Plazas tab. You do end up getting quite a few of them with the DLCs. Like we have quite a few DLCs at this point. Things like trash cans or like the playground or like these little runes. I ended up putting them over here or even like this little gazebo kind of thing, or this information booth kiosk. Um, so I did like this little grill stand with a couple benches. I did trees all the way around. I did another little grill stand with some benches. I ended up using that prop gazebo over here. Did some rocks, some trees, and it just really goes to show that you really don't need to get too crazy. I ended up doing the tall burials going all the way around. I felt like it was just going to be a nice touch for this area. And we can go into first person view and kind of see that, you know, this just looks like a really nice area now. Like as you're walking through, you kind of see the purple bushes. You're coming around the science center. There's a little plaza. You come up to the front. You have the technology museum and you have the science center. And then you can kind of walk down the path and see this little like bunker runes. Maybe this is from like World War II or something. Um, but then there'd be like a little kiosk or the grill. Um, you have the information center here kind of talking about what the runes are from. All right. So now that we have this, we are facing a little bit of a demand issue with our industry or office demand. And so... What I really want to do is start expanding out a little bit of residential. We haven't done some residential in a little bit. And so I was looking over at this space right here, and I think it would be a really nice location for us to maybe expand out this pedestrian road and do a fun little layout, do some residential, maybe do a couple little plazas, really turn it into a nice area. So the first thing I want to do is go down here and we are going to hit this level terrain tool and we are going to level out this patch right here. And then we're going to go down to that next step and we're going to level out a little piece as well. We're not going to get crazy right there, but now what we can do, let's go ahead and turn down our speed. We don't need it on three speed. We're going to go into our pedestrian area roads and we're going to grab that same road that we've used. And we actually need to demolish this and get rid of all of our power lines right here since we don't really need them anymore. And so we will go ahead and bring this out and I want this to follow the same length that we kind of had. So we're almost a square away from that, but we do need to start widening it out as we get further down here. So I think that's what I was going for right there. So then now what we will do is go ahead and grab this road. We want it to follow that road very similarly. We'll go ahead and leave it right there. Now what I want to do is go ahead and grab a bigger pedestrian road. And we're actually going to come off from like right about here. And we're going to follow that little sand line right there. We're going to come all the way down. And then we are going to grab our slope tool. We're going to right click right there. And we're going to come all the way down here. And so now what that does is it allows us to bring this up without having the ground all messed up. We're still going to get a little bit of it, 
It's just how nodes work in this game, but you can kind of see this down here. This actually doesn't look too bad, so it kind of like just drops down and goes flat near the beach. So now we can go back into our first road, or our second road. We can connect this up, and let's go ahead and extend this out now. So if we grab this, let's go ahead and connect it up right there. Let's grab this. We are going to curve it, go like that. And so that leaves a little space in the middle for us to be able to do like a plaza, maybe a little shopping center or something like that. And so what I'm thinking is we will grab our level terrain tool, and we're going to build off of this ledge first. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. We're going to build a little ledge and then we are going to level out a little space at the bottom. We're going to have to soften the train up a bit on the side just because I really don't want it to be like too rocky or too hilly. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go into districts and areas and let's go ahead and extend out this wall to wall district. I feel like that's a really good fit for this area. And then we can go ahead and go down here. We got to be mindful of this self-sufficient district right there. And then let's go ahead and extend out our pedestrian area as well, since we know that we're using pedestrian roads and they will need to be serviced by the, our pedestrian area service centers. And so now that we have that done, we can come in here. And so what I want is zoning off of this road. And so what I can do is go in here and create like a little retaining wall to get rid of the zoning off of this. If I was playing with mods, I'd probably just use um, zoning adjuster. I wouldn't have to do this, but this does add a little bit of a, like a safety effect as well. Maybe there's like rocks coming down or something and you don't want any kids getting hit. Let's go ahead and zone all this little top section. I don't think I'm going to get the side just because I know it's going to really mess with that terrain a bit. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing down here. And then let's do just a little bit of commercial. And I want to make sure that this is wall to wall commercial as well. I believe it's not. So we're going to go ahead and hit wall to wall commercial as well. And then I think for these sections, what we're going to do is just fill them in. They're kind of smaller blocks. We really don't want to get too crazy with it. There's, it's not really necessary. And then we can come in here and just do wall to wall as well. And then I think we will get rid of a small section in here as well and do another little plaza. All right. And so what I really wanted to do here is do some sort of beach kind of vibe. But the problem is if we go in here and go to this tourism and leisure tab that we unlocked with the After Darks DLC, you'll kind of see a lot of these water assets, which I think are great. But if we go ahead and place down a couple of them just to check it out we can see that there is like a ledge and I, I really don't like this at, at all. I think it looks terrible. So I think what we're gonna do for this area is put in a little key wall. And in order to do that, what we need to do is kind of level out just a little bit of this coast. It's a little too close. Probably go right there. We don't wanna get too crazy with it. And then we are gonna still have a beach over here. So we'll end up going all the way down here. And I think we may even extend the key wall out over here. It's not the end of the world if we do. So we'll go ahead and go like this. And then now what we can do is go into water structures and we can go ahead and build our key wall off of this, hopefully. So if we go ahead and go like this, I would prefer to kind of follow that road a little bit, but we may have a little bit of trouble with that. So if we go like this and then just terminate it right there because we can't build on the other side of that artificial dotted line. So now that we have this, we can go back into our tourism and leisure tab and we can see that. So if we place this down, that a lot of these buildings now look a lot better. So this just looks so much better now. It's kind of sitting on that key wall. It's not a huge block anymore. Some of them still are blocks. So like, we're gonna go ahead and place the pier. We'll place it right there. And it actually looks like that one's pretty good. Then let's see. So if we do this one, it actually looks like most of them are probably pretty good. So we are going to place this down. And um, so we got a pier, we have the jet ski rentals and we have the marina. Let's see what else we got in here. I don't wanna just, you know, spam these. And so now what we need to do is actually have our road we need to have a small pedestrian road come up here and connect these up. So we are going to wrap this around, go like this, and then go ahead and just have it terminate. And then we can go ahead and have this follow down and we'll probably have it terminate up here. I feel like that's a good location. Then that leaves an, a nice little area in the middle for us to do a park, really clean it up, make it look good. You can kind of see if you draw this close to key walls, you tend to have a little bit of an issue with the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and redraw this in real quick and then I'll show you guys how what I did. All right, so what I did is I just, just moved it out a little bit because we're having the issue with the trees. Um, whenever you're building near water, trees just don't grow. Um, what I'm gonna do is switch over to those, the, just the grass. I think that looks a little bit better. And so we do need to get some water down here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and draw this in real quick. All right, and so now we have just a couple little cool beach assets. There's access. Um, it looks like this isn't in our pedestrian area, which could be a problem. So if we just extend this out, go like that, this, let's go ahead and bring this all the way down. I think that looks nice. And so we'll probably do just a small little couple, small, uh, commercial areas in here. I think we may even do a micro district. So if we grab this and go like this, I think doing organic and local produce down here would be really nice, um, especially since it's beachfront. You can kind of have like some little shops and stuff. 
And so we'll probably come in here and just do a couple of these. And then that way we'll get some of these small uh, organic and local produce shops, which I actually really like. And it's funny, we didn't um, actually hit the zoning. So we want to come in here and we want to tap that. Yeah, so we want that to go. And so now all these poor buildings that just grew in are going to have to disappear and they're going to be regrown, even though we had a nice little fry guys. Um, but we'll begin to see our first building right here. So we have a little like organic um, grocery store right there coming in. Looks like we got some little stalls and stuff, some seating. See, I really like those ones. Those ones are great. I think we're going to get rid of this parking lot. I think having an uh, electric uh, parking lot down here is probably not the best fit. Um, same with this. I, I just don't know if that's, you know, a good fit. We're getting a lot of these parking lots, even though they're the kind of smaller ones, I wonder. So if we come in here, let's go ahead and remove that. And then anywhere that we're just getting an excess of parking lots, we'll probably drop it down because you end up getting these small little cool little shops in here if you just do the one buys but i think this looks really good well i think what i'm gonna do is do some paths and stuff so i'm gonna just grab this gravel path and i'm actually we'll do the we'll do the park path so i'm going to basically draw this out from like right here and i'm gonna have it kind of mimic the road a little bit i really want to capture that pattern in here so we'll bring this down and then what i'm gonna do is probably do some palm trees and uh maybe some park assets make it look good all right so i ended up doing the tall california palms going all the way around added in a little plaza over here i did um just some some rocks going all the way through i really like the rocks on the beach i think it looks good i ended up doing the gazebos wrapping around off of our main road because this isn't an actual park i couldn't put it on the pass which was kind of uh, frustrating i needed it and because it's a pedestrian road i can't intermingle it and so i decided to just put it off the road um, but I think this looks really good. It's not too much. I did a couple little grill spots with some benches. I did a couple little information booths or like a magazine kind of booths. Yeah, it looks like maybe food stalls, stuff like that. Overall, I, I really like this area. I like the organic and local produce, especially for these sections. I think they look fantastic. It does look like we have a couple parking lots again. So I do want to get rid of these and then wait for those to come in and make sure that they're not parking lots again. All right, so I think this looks really good. I ended up doing just some palm trees, um, some tall grass in here with some rocks. I did a couple little food stalls with some benches, and um, then I ended up doing gazebos along this backside. Because it's not a park area, I wasn't able to put it onto paths, sadly. Um, but overall, I think this looks really good. Our industrial demand is still not really inching up. Um, we keep building commercial, and so we definitely have some empty spots over here. And so I think what I'm going to do is probably just have to wait it out until our industrial demand just kind of increases a little bit. It takes a little bit of time. Um, I mean, we did a residential expansion. We didn't really do a huge one, and we still got to wait for these to level up, which is just going to take time. This has to do with your education, which if we check out our schools, we can make sure that these still have capacity, which it looks like they do. Yes, they do. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse. I'm going to do some trees in here. Just kind of clean it all up. Probably do that plaza in here. Do some trees in here. Fill in those spaces. Then I'm going to come over here and just... I want to do something fun for this, this front section. Probably do maybe some rocks, a couple fences. Um, maybe do a fence around here or some walking paths. Maybe even put some commercial because I feel like this space is kind of empty. Especially for our downtown. I feel like that would be filled in. Sadly though, we um, do have to wait for these buildings to come in. I still think these look really cool though. We got the International Trade Building. We got the skyscraper bank. And so what I'm hoping is maybe while I'm, while I'm detailing, these will start coming in a little bit more, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a detailing time-lapse and I will catch you guys on the other side. All right, so I did quite a bit, actually. I ended up doing trees in here. I did a little plaza. Um, I went ahead and just put trees to fill in the space. And I actually really like this area. I think this looks really good. I like the whole waterfront thing we did. I think that was a really good use of this space, especially providing those amenities for the city. I did end up doing a residential expansion. I'll show you guys in just a second, but it did make it so that all of our uh, office buildings came in, which I really like. I like the look of these, especially the smaller ones. They have some great details on them. But now, I mean, we got a pretty good looking little city. 
we definitely have some traffic issues that have now arose and it's kind of funny we were doing so good for a while and then now we're just having some problems um i really like when these facades match up like this like i think this looks really cool and then beside the stock exchange as well we got some smaller ones i did end up putting in some uh, pink little bushes over here with some young linen just to kind of clean up the space a little bit i ended up doing our bronze panda and the bronze um, bowl in across the street from the stock exchange and overall i really like this expansion i'm not a huge fan of this traffic maybe on the next episode we'll have to start playing around with this again i think by connecting this up it's now causing a problem whereas before it was maybe causing uh, it was getting less people to come this way and now we're just getting more people who are choosing to take this path than before i really like that we got this uh, museum and the science center in I think this was a really cool addition. And then the new expansion that I did was actually over here. We had already had the road layout. And so I decided to do a park with a little school district. And then I added in another one of our underground metro stops with a little commercial area, a couple little parks, um, some paths running through here. And it's kind of funny. We So before I was playing with Tree Anarchy, which was the little buttons down here. The reason I was playing with it was because they it has a level of detail um, for trees that I really like it. It makes your trees look better and it kind of spins them too so that they're not all facing the same direction. Well, I decided to remove it because I added in ultimate level of detail. So if we go into options, we can come down here and see that I've added ultimate level of detail. Well, what this does is it just creates, it changes the level of detail distances for a lot of things. I haven't changed a lot, but I changed it for the trees. Well, the downside to it is that it deleted most of the trees that were in our build and Anybody who's been watching for a while knows that I place a lot of trees, and so it's kind of frustrating. We have some empty spaces in here now. So I think over the next couple of episodes, we'll probably start placing some of these down. But I think this build is really good. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm going to be um, changing up my memberships here soon if anybody's interested. I, uh, I want to go down to just one tier, and then what I'm going to start doing is about every five episodes, I'm actually going to upload one of my saves for free just on the Steam Workshop. I really want to make it more inclusive for people rather than forcing you to join a membership. I am also moving in the direction of making it so that the members will actually have early access to videos. So I'm thinking like a day or two before my normal releases, we'll have another video release. But I want to come down and make a good schedule first, make sure that I can uh, fulfill those promises. On the next episode, we will be playing around with a Natural Disasters DLC. We're going to be expanding our industrial area over here, adding in some more water features, and then we're going to be playing around with disaster prep and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one